Okay, we got him fired up there. We got him all fired up, so he's good to go for a bit. Now, I just got a sample from the tank there. This is from Dad's bush. And if I turn you around here, i show you. You can see this. You can see it here. Now that's showing around 2.2, 2.2%. So last week we were at 1.5. So now for the season we were at week another weekend. So sugar content's getting higher. And we're at 2.2 now, which makes a big difference. Uh, so you got 86 divided into 2.2. You're looking around, around 30, 30. 39, 39 gallons roughly uh, for uh, 39 gallons of sap per gallon of syrup. So a huge difference there, going from I think it was around 57 gallons last weekend to uh, down to 39 now. So it, it makes a big difference. Every percent really, really counts. Um, some of you have asked me. Uh, the last video I never showed how the system worked and how everything moves through the evaporator from the head tank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip you around and I'm going to explain to you how the system goes through and how the sap goes through, makes it through the evaporator and each each way, each uh, spot in the evaporator as it goes through, the temperature as it goes through and then you get finished syrup at the end. So here we go. Well, here we go, this is the head tank. We pump it up in here. And like I say, we're looking at, this is gathered last night. It's pretty clear, this stuff. Still looking good. No filter there. Get all the dirty stuff out of it, all the wood chips and stuff. So as it comes, this is the tank here. This as it comes through the head tank. I got a valve, I got a couple valves. The one on the bottom there, that's so I can shut the feed off. The one on the bottom so I can wash the tank out every time it goes empty. It gets washed. So I have extra water. All nice and clean. Rinse the water. So as it comes through. It comes out here. This is all cold sap. Comes into this float box. Comes in this float box right here. So it comes in down here. So as it comes in, you see, see a ripple in there. That's a that's fresh sap coming in actually. So this float box will keep the level in this back pan to the same height as I set it at. If I set it at a certain height, which I like about an inch and a quarter over top of those flues there. You see the nice coil going, decent. So it comes in, through a pipe, down here on this side, and it starts here. It's cold sap, as it's boiling, it'll come through, come through here, there's a little opening there in the divider. You can see it there in the bottom of the pot there. I got That's warm water comes in, and as it's boiling off, it comes through. And this is about 212, this pan here, Fahrenheit. And as it comes in, this pan here, it comes into this float box, right from this valve here. Right from this valve. So this back pan does all, a lot of the hard work. It does most of the boiling. It takes a lot of the water out for it. Uh, before it even enters up here. And this float box here, you see here, that's, you see the stream coming in there. 
That's what's evaporating on the front pans. So what you see coming in is that fresh sap is coming into the front pans. And this keeps the elevation. I keep the, the elevation in these pans quite a bit lower so they'll get the syrup quicker because I don't need as much. Don't need it too high in there because then you take, I want consistent draws, not a whole bunch at once. So as it comes in here, it goes through the pipe here and in my first pan, my first finishing pan. You see here, it comes in. And this divider, there's an opening right there. It comes through here. And these pans are roughly, I want to say, around uh, 2, 214. As it comes through, it'll come through here around the bend and into my last pan. This is the just before finished product. As it goes through here between this divider and this divider, there's actually a few degrees difference as well. Because as I hit syrup, this over here will be 220, 221. I like it a little bit thicker. So as it comes through, it'll get thicker and thicker. And then my probe is down in there. You can see it. It's right here. And that tells me. Tell me what it's syrup. I'm 217 there now. I got it set at 220. So when it hits 220, when this top number hits 220, my this actuator will open up and start pouring syrup off. We'll be getting syrup today for sure. So hopefully that gives anybody that was wondering how how it kind of works. A good idea. I can hear. I can hear him losing his boil a little bit. That means I got to fire up. You see me fire up just not too long ago. It's been about seven minutes, eight minutes. She's time to get some wood in it. And uh, you just you can, you can really tell by hearing him, listening to him, because as he loses his boil, he starts getting a little, a little more quiet. Lights are As I stoked the fire, you can tell. It'll start picking back up again. It'll start picking back up again here now. Gotta keep a consistent boil going. Yeah, it seems steam's going there now. Oh, let's see what he's doing. There we go. That's what you want to see right there. 